Hey guys, Targo Cycling FPV. So we've done two videos right now uh, on setting this up. Um, so we did the, uh, <clears throat> let's see, we did the standard version uh, the, for the RX, for the RXSR, sorry, the 1.1.3 RS um, uh, ISRM, which is the standard one. Then we did the 2.1.0 and we did the F port test and it worked, F port worked great. We had everything going, telemetry and everything. We just had to turn uh, both the half duplex and the inverted on on each one. And then we got that going. That was in the last video. So this video, I was gonna go into the um, access version, but I decided I'm gonna stop. I wanna test something out. So what I've done is, and I'll show you what I'm doing right now. Um, uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so we're gonna do this split screen like this. So what I've done now is I've, actually I don't like that. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do it like this, okay. Is I've just updated to the FCC, not the F port version, just the standard FCC version. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Now this has already been done. I didn't wanna make you guys have to watch that. Now, on the board here, what I've done here is I have allocated, I have put the S bus here on the um, uh, RX3, and I have put the S port on TX6. Okay, now I'm gonna plug this in. Actually, I'm gonna turn, no, I'm gonna unplug. I'm gonna unplug this first. I'm gonna plug this in and I'm going to get it ready to bind. So let me go ahead and hold the bind button down, press the power on. Should see both, oops, I didn't think I held, I didn't hold the button, hold. I started this button, let me just put it in my hand like this. There we go, I've got the button pressed, and turn it on. All right, got both lights lit up like we're supposed to, and here's the radio, and so we're gonna just go to, go to menu page, and we're just gonna scroll up, and we're gonna make sure that we have ACCST act, uh, set, and we're gonna bind this to, uh, just like normal, and we're gonna use channel 9316 telemetry on. When we do that, we see the red light blinking. So we know our binding is good, so I can exit, exit, exit. And then I can power off, cycle this off. Okay, turn it back on. Now, one thing I do wanna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, screen here. So here is beta flight. Now I'm gonna log in, and I'm gonna do something first because all these settings are, are kinda of getting overlapping each other. So let me plug in the USB. And here's where I'll do a, a, a screen like this, okay? That'll be easier. So you can see we're connected here. We've got a solid green light. Uh, but what we don't have, and here, I'll show you this in a second. We'll go ahead and click Connect, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to Defaults. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to CLI and type Defaults because I don't want any of my settings being saved. So we're gonna start like scratch, like the board's brand new, okay? <clears throat> All right, come on, push, push. Here we go, reboot. All right, connect. Now, I don't know what version of, of, of a software I'm running on this firmware, so let me just type version, I'm curious. Uh, I'm running 4.1.7, fine. I have no reason to really worry about that right now, so let me just disconnect. Let's connect again. Wait, we're here. Okay, now one thing I do want you to notice, one thing I want you to pay attention to is, as you can see right here, we've got a green light, but we don't have that blue light designating that it's S-Bus. So I'm gonna check and see if that's gonna cause us an issue, but I am gonna say we're on RX3, and we're using TX6 for the smart port, so I'm gonna click Save. And we're gonna see if we're gonna get our telemetry and everything working, okay? And we're going to see if we get our S port signal, S bus signal, I mean. So let's go connect, and then we're going to go to configuration, and we're going to go down to serial based, and we're going to select S bus, and we're going to go to telemetry, and we're going to say save and reboot. Now, this is where it gets interesting. All right. <sighs> so if we turn on, okay, and we're going to see if we even if it's even recognized. So we have no, we're not recognizing here as having this signal, and so what we're going to do is. That's because we're st it automatically, for some reason, goes to CPPM mode when you do some of these firmware updates. So let's just go ahead and hold this button down for five count. I think I got it pressed, I can't remember. Okay, there we go, it blinks. Blue light should come on, there we go. And now look, now we have signal. So make sure that you pay attention to that when you're in the ACCST mode, uh, whether you do a firmware update or not. Sometimes you may get a firmware update and then when you're done, the um, uh, S bus option is not selected uh, by showing that blue light, so you won't have any signal. All right. So we do have it now, we can see our stick movement. Now the question is, how's our telemetry going? So let's go to, let's press page, sorry. Uh, let's press menu one time and then press page and hold it. Press it and hold it again. Here's our telemetry page right here. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I want to, I want to delete all sensors just because I wanna start fresh. So I'm gonna go delete all sensors, hit enter. So I've got no sensors here and now it's fine. Look at that, I've got everything updated. So there is something to be said about that, okay? So I'm gonna click Stop Discovery, but let's look at something real quick, okay? Just so we're clear. Let's go to our CLI, and let's type um, set TLM, and let's see what the values are. Okay, so keep this in mind. Now note this, okay, this is very important. Telemetry inverted is off, telemetry half duplex is on. Okay, those are the only two things I care about right now. So we're, we're getting telemetry, all right? 
So we're going to say stop. Okay, we're going to say st lost. stop the discovery. Okay, so let me click exit. Okay. Let's just keep watch here. Okay, and look at that. Man, we're getting everything. So we use our S port on the TX. We used our S bus on the RX, and we're doing great. So this is the difference if you didn't have F port. You would use this just like this with telemetry, and instead of using one wire, you use these two wires. There's a reason I'm having this done, okay? So now what we can say is, let's just do this. So now, here's what we know now. So now we've done three videos. 1.1.3 uh, ISRM, 2.1.0 with ACC STD16 using F port, video three, which is this one, 2.1.0 ACC STD16 using uh, S bus and S bus for the uh, connection and then S port for the telemetry. We saw our defaults there. We set the radio back to, we set the flight controller to defaults. We didn't actually change anything except dropping down to select the uh, S bus, right? Okay, now comes the trip. Now we're gonna go to the access protocol. And so that'll be video four, so here it goes, ready? So I'm gonna stop this. Uh, we, we see everything's working fine. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video here and we're gonna come back and do video four and we're gonna see if we have any problems with this, okay? All right guys, I'll see you in just a minute. Peace.